Falk from Cooking by Moonlight and today I'm going to show you how to make grape Italian ice. Grape Italian ice is a really great dessert in the summertime. It's absolutely delicious, it's very fruity, and this one's super simple to make. So I'm going to take this can of grape concentrate and pour it right into my blender, the whole thing. Next I'm going to add in two cups of water. and a quarter cup of sugar, because you want this to be a pretty sweet dessert, like a sorbet is. Italian ices are great. They're a lot like ice cream, but there's no milk in there. Next, we're going to add in two tablespoons of lime juice. This just gives it a little extra tart flavor and keeps it from being overly sweet. Now that all of our ingredients are in the blender, I'm going to turn it on and let it go until it's all processed. You actually do, it'll start to get kind of foamy at the top. You do want it to get that way. By getting all that extra air in there, it's going to make a fluffier sorbet in the end. After everything's all blended up, you can see how foamy it gets. It's exactly what we want. That gets lots of air in there, which makes it nice and fluffy when it's done. I'm going to pour mine into a small baking dish. You could definitely pour it right into an ice cream maker if you had one. I don't have one available today, so I'm going to put it in a dish and put it in the freezer and teach you how to make it without needing an ice cream maker. Now that it's in the baking dish, we're going to put it in the freezer. And every 30 minutes for about four hours, you want to take it out and take a spoon and just stir it all the way around. It's going to keep it from forming too many big crystals, though since there is so much sugar and grape juice and all the, the delicious things in there, it really shouldn't ever harden up too much, but it's a lot nicer if you stir it every now and then. After you've let it set up for about four hours, it gets to this texture. This is exactly what you want. This is the perfect Italian ice. I'm just going to scoop out some for me. Put it right here in my dish. Now that is a fantastic summer treat. It has such a good flavor, you really have to try it. And it's super simple, you don't even need an ice cream maker. I'm Liz Houck from Cooking by Moonlight, and this has been How to Make Grape Italian Ice.